Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Designers. Today I have some special friends who are designers who are experts at uh, working remotely <laughs> from home. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go through each one of them. Uh, let's start with who is Lindsay? Lindsay. Lindsay, can you tell us more about yourself, Lindsay? Yeah. So. Hi, I'm Lindsay Grande. I'm currently Director of Design at Google. Um, it's a startup based in Switzerland. Um, so what I do is um, I basically do a little bit of everything, anything about design, product design, brand design, um, anything that touches design in the company. Yeah. Um, and a bit of background about how I got started is um, my first exposure to my line of work was when I started uh, building websites in 2000, I was 10 years old. So I've always wanted to build websites um, since I started using the internet at a young age. And then years later, uh, that evolved to wanting to design apps. So when smartphones became a thing. Um, and since starting my career, I've worked and designed for startups around the world. And yeah, also good to note, I've been working remote for nine years. Yeah, nine years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> next, can we have uh, our next speaker is Gab. Gab, introduce yourself. Oh your my God. Oh. <laughs> uh, hi, um, I'm Gab Madrid, and uh, I'm a product designer by day, and an illustrator and animator by night. So, yun, uh, I make um, like drawings, large and small. Like I make um, uh, illustrations. Cartoon, uh, cartoons and you know icons for my day job mm -hmm. and uh yeah uh, i started uh in started web designing through blogging mm -hmm. uh, as a teenager you know na uh, i got exposed to the internet i discovered people i discovered that people uh kept online diaries so you know i wanted to join in and i tried making one and I and then I found out that you can customize uh, your your online diary, which I thought was the best part of blogging. I think, yeah. <laughs> and and then that became my rabbit hole for web design. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank thank you, Gabs. And our next speaker is Sam. How are you, Sam? How are yes. you doing? <laughs> Go, Sam. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, my name is Samantha Rose Cruz. I'm a product designer and front end developer, but I'm working as, I'm currently working as a product manager for XSplit. Um, it's under Split Media Labs, so it's a product by Split Media Labs. It's a powerful streaming recording, uh, streaming and recording app that's been used by 3 million users around the world. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been a designer and developer for uh, five years now, and I've worked with startups and big companies locally and abroad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've also founded and managed uh, Manila CSS, which uh, aims to promote CSS best practices and yeah, discover new features, gather professionals. But uh, since uh, we're under quarantine, um, I'm currently planning on doing online meetups for now. Yes. So yeah, still working. I st still finding a speaker that has a different view than me. <laughs> so yeah, may <laughs> maiba lang. Uh, like, so yeah, or Gab or <laughs> Lindsay <laughs> or Ia. <laughs> or Ia. <laughs> um. So yeah, I've been. I started being a designer developer since I got into internship back in uh, 2015. I don't know, no, uh, 2013. So because of that internship, that's when I got into design. Because before that, I wasn't really into design. I was into animation and illustration. So it was only until that internship that I was able to, you know, discover web design and uh, the money that's uh, in it. <laughs> yes, money. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for yes. me. 
All right. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here, yes. And our yes. last, uh, but uh, not the least, speaker, uh, uh, guest here is someone we already had as a guest before, pero favorite nating guest dahil related naman oh, yung one. <laughs> Go, Sophia. Hello, everyone. Um, I am an independent web designer and front-end developer. So, I don't have like one main company, although I've worked for a, a couple of companies for like long term. Um, one of them, I do the front end engineering there. So they have a bunch of clients and then I do the front end part. And then some another company is I do the um, interface design, design, or sometimes if it's like more of a brochure site, it's um, maybe the development also. So it my role kind of varies depending on the project, but it's those two main things, design and front end. So basically, and then yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and, and then I'm co-founder also of Philippine Web Designers Organization. So yeah, um, we have new leads. So I'm more support now, and then the internal stuff. But yeah, we held a remote meetup. We're planning the next one. And then we're trying to figure out how to uh, move forward with our initiatives. We even partnered with Smashing Mag recently, the last Monday or Tuesday. Um, for their event. So we're trying to explore how to deal with the new remote setup thing. Nice. So, nakatawag, uh, Lindsay, yung mga hirit nila sa amin tsaka ni Ian. No? I also happen to be the founder of... <laughs> also, 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 <laughs> yes, it's really good. <laughs> so, yeah, so my first question for you is, um, how has your life been during this past few months of community quarantine, quarantine because of COVID-19? Uh, while you're sharing, maybe I'll look at your Instagram or Twitter. Uh, maybe I'll start off with Ia, and then Ia pass the ball to who who's next after you share. Go Ia. Yeah. What, how's your life been? Um, medyo mas stressful because there are a lot of limitations right now. So you have to worry about things that you usually take for granted, like ordering as simple as food and groceries and stuff, mm-hmm. and we're in the Philippines where online and e-commerce stuff is not as reliable yet. So even if there are services that we're trying to use right now, I've sort of discovered like Walmart and Metromart and all that. Sometimes, but I'm out of stock. And sometimes the deliveries don't come in the right schedule. So there's things like that. It's like the day-to-day that's supposed to be like less of a problem is becoming more of a problem. So if you have you have more wo- things to worry about instead of like being more balanced about the way you do your day to day things. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. What's what's new that you discovered so far? Uh, where are you shopping? Um, yeah, the Metro Mart, uh, Walter Mart. It also depends on your area, kasi. So sometimes they don't. They don't cater. So, yeah, I, I'm near the physical grocery, but we don't want to go out. So, try to get the delivery. <laughs> try to get the delivery. Mona. Scared. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, actually. There, it, the interface isn't mostly the problem, but more of the, the stocks, the inventory, mm-hmm. and the, the amount of people that are ordering so they can't handle that, um, that volume. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's next? Pass the ball. Um, Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> the question sure. is, how has your life been you, during this ECQ? Um, uh, yeah. What are you doing lately? Well, to be honest, it's been challenging. Um, I've had some ups and a lot of downs. Uh, my biggest struggle was March to April, actually. I was uh, grieving a lot, I think, for, for everyone, for the world. Okay. Yeah. It was it was quite difficult to just live my life, um, but this month May has been better. Uh, I have a lot of hobbies now that are distracting me. Yeah, it's and Animal Crossing pattern. Yes, that's, that's been my life <laughs> in Animal Crossing, um, <laughs> and I also think I, I'm getting used to being confined in a small space twenty four seven. I literally haven't stepped outside since mm-hmm. March thirteen. Oh man! The last time wow. Outside my door, yeah, I I do not go out at all. 
UTC. Uh, sige, um, who, who to pass the ball to? I see your hand. Yes. Uh, I pass it on to Sam. Go, Sam. What are you doing, Sam? Pareho kayo Hello. <laughs> What have you been up to, Sam? Hello. We hear you. Ayun. So, ah. ayun. Um, the past few months, um, yeah, it's not really easy, especially for uh, sport, sporty, uh, sporty na ako ngayon. Oh, my, sporty, sporty person you know? like sporty. me. <laughs> sporty. So, yeah, the gyms are closed, so I have to adjust. So, oh. I have a home gym now. So you can see my cat on the photo and my home gym. And, yeah, um, I'm also into kendo, which is a, you know, a contact sport, which now we can't do. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so it's so, it's really hard for me as a kendoka that I don't get to practice because uh, kendo is something that you need to practice with a partner. And yeah, uh, so far we've been doing this online suburi. Suburi is like practice strikes. So yeah, we do that in Zoom. Um, oh. It's helpful because, um, you know, uh, it gets you connected with the club still. But in terms of growth as a kendoka, you know, it's not as fast as uh, before, like, with, you know, with a partner. So, yeah, it's hard to do the drills. And as for uh, going out, uh, yeah, I haven't been out for a month now, I think. And... <laughs> <laughs> um I I'm with my girlfriend right now so normally like we switch uh the grocery uh runs but recently uh we like we really stock up on supplies so we haven't been out for a month now and I haven't really tried uh grocery shopping through apps but I did try you know um online of course online shopping which is my only drug right now. <laughs> like people say that you don't get to spend that much when you're inside the house, but not for me. <laughs> so, what are you buying? Yeah. I, um, <laughs> lately, uh, music stuff, like uh, stuff for my guitar or stuff for gaming. Um, yeah. So it's good that I have these hobbies that, you know, uh, let me stay inside and uh, still get creative. But, yeah, I still miss outside, spe especially for my sporty side of uh, things. Mm, okay. So I guess next, Gab. What you doing, hi. Gab? So, hi. <laughs> um, so, in, has it been uh, problematic for Gab being stuck at home? <laughs> for <laughs> me? Not so bad. No. So the, the quarantine is mostly, for me, the same, but with a lot more anxiety. Because uh, because before the pandemic we didn't go at we don't go out much already, mm -hmm. but now but at least you know that was out of our free will. Mm -hmm. This time it's more restricting because uh, since our actions could lead to like life-threatening consequences mm -hmm. for other people, you know, especially you know people close to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So personally, I'm leaning more on my hobbies, like um, you know things that I do that make me happy. So like things like gaming and drawing, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I've been drawing a lot and uh, I try to share that, to share all of that with my friends, like um, streaming online, you know, my art or like playing multiplayer together or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Staying, staying at home and splatooning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, splat, splat, yeah, medyo matagal na Pero Splatfest this weekend. If, 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 if you play Splatoon. You're all players. <laughs> Dapat yeah. yata ni Ia hindi naglalaro eh. <laughs> Anong nga? Yeah. Ah, no. <laughs> it's super casual. Uh, ako, more, I, I'd rather watch you guys and uh, yeah. watch you. I, I'm a watcher, not a player. I watch you play and cheer you on. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. You've been remote working remotely, you know, even before the community quarantine. Has anything uh, changed? Ba? Mula nung nag, when you started, uh, when, when ACQ, the entire community, uh, community quarantine happened, how has your life been? Uh, for me, I, I start, I basically uh, stopped. I, I work in a corporation, so we're not all working from home. Luckily, our work 
you know, tech techies can actually work remotely. So it's not that bad. So, but it makes them aware. And you know, traditional companies that are not really uh, work from home types suddenly being aware. Okay, apparently you can work from home. Yes, you can. We've been doing it for a long time. And here are people who've been doing it for a long time. Maybe I'll start off with Cindy, uh, with uh, uh, Lindsay because you've been doing this probably the longest uh, amongst us. Um, how was it before? How is it now? And then you also then pass the ball to to anybody else who's uh, uh, you want to. Sure. Uh, so at the beginning of the quarantine, it was either very difficult to focus on work or I was using work as a distraction to life. Um, uh -huh. So I've been working remote for years and this is just not the same. It's not the same thing. So before the quarantine, I was at home by choice. Uh, so sometimes it's difficult to turn off my work brain because I just can't step out anytime I want. Uh, so I'm trying to deal with that. And then other times it's the opposite where it's hard to get into work because everything that's going on and sometimes I wish the weekend wouldn't end. So sometimes it feels like a long forced staycation <laughs> of sorts. Um, but I am very grateful though that uh, my adjustment period was not as difficult as other people. You know, I've heard stories of people who don't have internet connections at home and they've they've struggled and so i i already have a setup here at home so basically it's just continuing what i was already doing and i just have to work on my mental game yeah yeah i actually have a uh, um even the office you know some 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 of our because it's a, a conglomerate with some tradition a lot of some of them still have desktops so for those who needed to <laughs> To work at home, they actually brought their desktops at home. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a different, a different kind of scenario when you when you see things like that having to happen. And actually, we're pretty lucky that we we're able to work remotely again because I know some uh, people who had been uh, we had to shut down, uh, fire fire some teams because no one has a big client. They lost a big client, and now um, half of their workforce they can't afford, so they have to. So we're pretty lucky. All right, Lindsay, who's next? Uh, I nominate Gab. Gab. <laughs> How has it been like? How's it different? Um, let's see. Well, I think it's not easy to see what's changed for us in uh, remote working. I say, you know, on the surface, we're required to work the same hours, same intensity mostly. Um, but outside of work, uh, we've been needing more time to rest, you know, and... Uh, and relax and deal with the anxiety of the situation. Uh, you know, things that we didn't have to be concerned about before. So yun, um, parang the separation between the time to work and the time to rest, it had to be clearer more yeah. than ever yeah. now. Yun. That's it. Uh, and so, yeah, um, we, we follow those um, times very strictly and like because that's how we like form structure in our lives in this like very um, blurry time yeah I actually told my team to because they were we were we were, we were getting used to working online that straight you know no no breaks in between yeah. in, in real life you can have lunch you can have breaks in between so, so I told them maybe you should put that like a 15 30 minute break time in between your because it's draining you can just easily jump yeah. from one meeting to another and before you know it okay what you're so tired already so it's interesting uh different because even if you're yeah. oh go i mean wala lang. Uh, it, it's it's hard to notice na you're you're getting tired na eh. like yeah uh because it's it's such a very you know physically you're in your house you're in the chair that you're you've been sitting in for like your your whole yeah. um, professional life. So <laughs> you, you don't notice that you know all these things are happening to your mind. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Gab. Who's next? Oh, uh, Sam. 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 How's it been? How, Hello. How's it, is it? Is there anything different? <laughs> so yeah. Um. But I've been working remotely for around almost two years now. 
And yeah, it's really different because first, uh, when I started working remotely before, I was in it for the working remotely, not more of the work from home. Yeah. So like I, I wanted to work like anywhere. So for example, um, I want to be in a coffee shop, ganon. So sometimes that day I even go to the beach. Then yeah, I work from there. So yeah. now I can't do that. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, but the thing is, I I've always had my own home uh, setup, of course. So I've been investing on that ever since. And yeah, I was lucky enough that I didn't get to adjust that much in terms of like the setup, but. In terms of mental health, of course, it's different. Um, when I when the community quarantine uh, started, I was still working with Lindsay and Gab at that time, mm-hmm. and I first I thought uh, this this would just be the same anyway. But then I I thought wrong, <laughs> so that I thought it was only me until I heard from the other um, people from the Philippine team that uh, they were also struggling, like. Uh, they know they've been working from home, but then it's really different because of that anxiety-inducing uh, pandemic outside. So yeah, it's been tough, of course. But yeah, I think I just got, uh, you know, I got to distract myself with a lot of things that I can do inside. But that doesn't, um, um, nagkaka insomnia pa rin ako, uh, because of it. So. Uh, that's really bad because well, I start at one p.m. Like that's my um, official work hours, but yeah, sometimes I still work at around three a.m. Not because I have too much work, but because it's hard for me to work in the day. That I compensate it by working in the midnight. So that's what's been happening recently. So I guess our last uh, but not least is Ia. Yeah, you've also been re- working remotely since forever. <laughs> um, yeah. How is how's any changes or how's it how's it been? For me, because it's it's project based mostly, so it depends on the I don't know the culture of the company. So the one I've been working for for a very long time, it's not been dependent so much on face to face calls, for example. So we communicate asynchronously, like they do a screen recording, they're on the different on the opposite side of the world. So they leave it's kind of like leaving a message for me and then I leave a message back. And then if we need to coordinate, that's then we do the synchronous. But it's ve- it's not been dependent, unlike what I'm noticing right now, that everybody has to be on a Zoom call all day. So that's kind of what I've noticed, that it kind of depends on what your company strategy is to mm-hmm. approach remote work yeah. and then there's i wanted to mention also there's kind of a logistics thing the internal thing that um some of these companies have very um traditional processes for example in getting paid that you have to go in person to get a check yes. then deposit your check to a bank and all that so, but now it's harder because you can't go outside right so you have to process that in a different way so those are the main things I've noticed that um, it, it's going to be a challenge of thinking that it's not just transplanting a, a physical office into a remote office. Like you have to think about things differently also. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, things are changing. So speaking of ch- things are changing, um, how do you think ch- things will change palalo given, given that... Uh, What's happening now and wala pa naman vaccine there's no, still no vaccine for covid-19 how do you think things will change now to next end of the year till next year what what do you think especially in design no what are you seeing that are design patterns that are suddenly popping up or even in in experiences what do you see are happening uh, uh, in terms of experiences i'll start off by sharing this <laughs> i'm in a i'm in a ano eh, i'm in a digital transformation company uh, team and who led the digital transformation in your company <laughs> so in in my case it's funny joke that we're talking about now it takes a a uh, pandemic to actually make people be forced to change their minds 
No? And the other thing that I wanted to share, something related to what we were talking about, I was talking to the previous uh, to Chi and other designers last week on what the, what patterns we're seeing. You know? This is one of the patterns that I'm seeing. Uh, bike lanes popping up in Pasig City na kahit na pop-up lang muna pero uh, I think uh, in terms of woohoo! <laughs> Mayor B. Kosoto, yes. Uh, <laughs> establishing bike lanes for us. That's why ako din napilitan na ako bumili ng bike because you know it's safer to just bike alone to work if I need to versus uh, you know using a grab or commuting with everybody else na medyo you're, you're kind of uh, uh, aware of being careful lang so, what do you think is going to change any design experiences? I'll pass it on to, I'll pass it on to Sam, Sam, because we are, I'm starting to learn how to bike now. I don't bike, <laughs> I crash bushes, but uh, <laughs> I'm starting <Yes>. to learn. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think, uh, of course, I'm happy that bike lanes are popping up around the metro, but also sad that it took a pandemic for yes, it to happen. I know. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, uh, as you mentioned, so Chi and I have been biking before. Chi has been biking more, more uh, she's more ex experienced than me. But then, yeah, our experiences are basically the same. You know, it's hard to bike around Metro Manila. And, yeah, this, this bike lanes popping up really helped, especially in this pandemic, because even if public transport is available, it's still not the safest option. Mm -hmm. if we're gonna think about the pandemic. So uh, in bike lanes or in biking, at least social distancing is by default happening. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's one of the experiences that's really gonna change. As for like work stuff, um, for me, I think it's gonna affect collaboration like really uh, like, siya yung pinakamatatamaan, yung col collaboration. But uh, since I've been working remotely before, I've seen how collaboration happens way before pa. So, uh, I just want to share, like, when I was working with Lindsay and Gab, we have this, uh, we use this feature by Envision, uh, Envision Boards, tama ba, Lindsay? Um, so, uh, there we just get our iPads and then that's where we normally uh, brainstorm. So we draw and, you know, like we wireframe there together. So that way we get to brainstorm together even when we're working remotely. So, so that's been happening even way before COVID. So things like that, I guess, especially if you're the kind of designer na, like you have post-its all over the uh wall so yeah that's that's something to consider then like those kinds of tools kailangan talaga uh gamitan na rin. um and then I... to to add to that um okay. they actually just released its um for that feature specifically Envision board yeah uh, yeah post it no uh, yeah it's a free hand yeah you can now put post it as well oh, that's <laughs> aside from just drawing so, so that's office, something using. On default, namin, we're bo using both Miro and uh, no, Miro and uh, Miro. So for us, especially if we're teaching design thinking, uh, I need a virtual whiteboard. So I use Mural oftentimes with a with a team you now, various team members and Miro. Correction, in so Envision, it's called Envision Freehand. Freehand. Ah, freehand. Yeah. Words, yeah. yeah, develop boards. Envision Freehand. And it's nice that you're able to more collaboration tools, no? Online collaboration tools. And right? the, the funny thing is, uh, Gab and I work in the same room, but mm -hmm. we still use this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's because you want to... We don't have a real whiteboard, so... <laughs> yeah, nice. I check this yeah. out. And then yeah. also, a framer just came out, right? So it's not the new... The yeah, framer, you know that. need to check that out. Uh, um, maraming, uh, people are telling me to check it out uh, because it's very nice for uh, prototyping. This one in particular, Mural, is so used for us because we, we teach uh, design processes, service design, and having a virtual whiteboard, having them practice it, it's for, for us, it's very useful. So, yeah, Sam, uh, 
we are passing on to Lindsay. Sige, Lindsay, ano pang what else? Since you already started. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think many companies are shifting focus now to prepare for a post-COVID-19 world. Okay. are working on several things that are addressing that. Mm-hmm. It's exciting, but it, you know, it's also scary at the same time because you don't know what to expect. And you can only guess so many outcomes. And a lot of companies are changing at a rapid pace um, because we have to, to survive. And yeah, many businesses have been affected by the pandemic. So adapting is key, but that also doesn't mean it's easy. Uh, So with regards to design, we now have more people spending more time online. Mm -hmm. So I think expectations have changed. So for example, we are expecting more brick and mortar stores to transition to e-commerce. Yeah. And a lot of companies are doing this um, for the first time. So some are messing up. And yeah. I've been a first-hand witness to that. But, you know, these are necessary failures. Mm-hmm. Uh, so today, more than ever, I think online services like e-commerce or streaming will be more in demand. Mm-hmm. And that means, I think, users will be expecting better experiences in the coming months. Speaking of streaming... Uh... <laughs> Sam works for for <laughs> what? <laughs> so how's the yeah, business? I forgot Sam? to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> how do I spell it? Split Media Labs, diba? Split Media. Yeah. Yeah. Split Media Labs. Uh, you can go to X Split. Uh, na lang. Uh, yeah. Actually, you're you're, you're known uh, for Split, diba? Uh. So ayon. As for streaming, yeah. Uh, b- b- even before, because before I went. Uh, this is the second time, by the way, that I've been to Split Media Labs because uh, te- technically they rehired me. So uh, before, uh, uh, during the time that the quarantine happened, that's when the spike in downloads for XSplit happened. I'm sure. Because I remember, yeah, I remember before, like I think last year, the numbers weren't good, but then. Uh, Around March, that's when the spike happened. I think more times four, if uh, I remember it right. I, I, I forgot the numbers because I wasn't in the company yet when that happened. So yeah, ayun, daming, uh, by the way, uh, XSplit is normally targeted to gamers. So that's where our most content creators are. But uh, when the pandemic happened, we kind of did a little shift that we made uh, expert broadcasters specifically, I think, uh, available for, you know, uh, teachers, you know. So mm-hmm. uh, we also release a lot of uh, tutorials to get them started because yeah. a lot of people have been streaming talaga. Yeah, and then uh, I also wanted to share nga na even Facebook is uh, uh, yung Facebook shops, no? Because uh, they're trying to get more, to get into the... Uh, the Facebook shops na online business na rin because a lot of people are going to that. And then I also wanted to point out yung news lately na how Zoom became suddenly one of uh, uh, most uh, high uh, stock values suddenly jumped up because of all the social distancing requirements and Zoom was one of the tools that came up. All right, so who's next? Uh, let's go to Ia, I guess. Yes, uh, Ia. What's she gonna change? How things are, how are things gonna change, you think, in design experiences? I think to loop it back to what you said about digital transformation, it's gonna be a test of who was doing digital transformation for the sake of the buzzword. Yes. Versus, <laughs> versus who, who is just forced because of the pandemic <laughs> versus who is actually doing it because that's how they think it's going to be a competitive advantage. Mm-hmm. And like, if they actually truly understand, like not just being obsessed with, I don't know, choosing a tool or like, just, Oh, let's get this. Let's, let's get this app because it's always in the news. So let's do all the video calls, all the work through video calls and all that. Sorry, medyo lumalabas yung pagkaantay video ko. But no, it's, <laughs> It's more like, it's more of thinking, eh? like, you have to change your mindset, you have to change your philosophy that you have when you communicate, it's not just about making a meeting that 
everybody is present again, but you have to be clear about the purpose of the meeting and all that. And then you use the tools to support that kind of new way of thinking. So I think that has to change. And as people who are more experienced in technology and the way of remote working, you have to push for that kind of change, not just, oh, let's install this, let's get that, let's pay for a new service and all that. Like we have to, it's, it's, we're at a turning point, similar to like, we want to push for better public transport. We want to push for more eco and safer ways of bike transport and safer bike lanes, for example. Like it's the time to be louder about those things because um, we're at that turning point that we want change to happen and we have to show that it's, it's going to be an improvement. The, the net benefit is, and it's, it's important for society and all that, that we have to do these changes, not just for the sake of um, health reasons or profits and all that. Like, we have to push for that kind of, we have to change. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Actually, uh, here's a story. I think I can tell this story now. One of the companies uh, I've been helping out, um, they, they recently just made their website public already, but we were doing it as part of our uh, training with them. So South Star Drug is now has, has an online, it's on beta store, but uh, we had been testing it even before COVID hit. So we were, we were testing the website and so they were targeting certain number, of, uh, like uh, certain value by this month. And then when COVID hit, they, they went like 10 times their original and we had not even gone pub- live yet, <laughs> public live. It's all internally lang. We were sharing to the conglomerate lang na. We have this beta side that uh, we're trying. And, and then, then boom, it spiked. Na. And then le- recently, just uh, two weeks ago, they made it live na, public beta na. So if you need to buy medicines, uh, you can buy from uh, South Star Drug online. So it's, it's interesting because me coming from there, well, although I can't share the entire story, but uh, coming from behind the scenes, from my very traditional kind of company, the transitioning to e-commerce, you see the you see how mindsets are changing. Uh, it's it's amazing that's even forced by COVID, palalo. Yeah. So, how about uh, I guess our last uh, Gab? Uh, what do you think? How do you think ch- things will change moving forward? It's going to happen. So, in terms of experiences, I think uh, a lot of relationships or like. Um, the ways of how people develop relationships will have to move online more, some more, you know, like more than before talaga. Uh, and, you know, not just the romantic kind of relationships, like all kinds talaga. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think people will be making more group chats. You know, I hope personally, I've gained like three or four group chats since the pandemic yes <laughs> you know, very very specific group of people you know yeah, I, yeah. even though sometimes they overlap or like a couple of people are part of like multiple mm-hmm. of them like it's, it, it it seems so necessary to have those separate group chats uh yeah uh I think, you know, people will also need more, you know, engaging and intimate experiences with their friends, you know, at a broader extent. Yeah. So, uh, you know, things like Zoom, I think Zoom is just like scratching the surface, you know, we're, we're just talking and like um, seeing each other because we, we experience our friends, you know, in different ways. Like how can we play games together online, like together, together, or like, you know, how do we watch movies or, you know, movies together online? You know, I have this group of friends, uh, this very specific group of friends that I watch movies with, together with, like, before the pandemic, we, uh, once or twice a month, we pick a movie and we go out and see it. And then we talk about it afterwards. And then we look forward to the next movie we watch together. You know how do you, how do you translate that online? Yeah. You know, how, or like, if you have a group of friends, you drink together with. You know, uh, how how do you translate that online? You know, I don't think you know Zoom. I don't think Zoom is the the best thing we can do yeah, about yeah. that. You know, I think we can do more about that. And and 
I, I'm excited to see what people come up with. Actually, okay, we're gonna play in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like it's also a drawing game, but um, yeah, I agree with you. No, ever since the pandemic, I, I, my college friends, na, I, I haven't been really seeing. Probably we see each other once a year every Christmas, and then during the pandemic, yeah. we would see each other like uh, every Sunday, and we just play trivia games together, and then, um, and then. Even so our, nice. our community events for Philippine Web Designers Org, uh, ES Philippine Web Designers Org, and uh, UX Philippines, we, we're going online now. Uh, and, and some of them are commenting, why, have, why didn't we do this before? <laughs> because it's, it's easier than traveling to the, tra <laughs> against the traffic and everything. <laughs> why are we now just doing this? Because uh, you realize that you can actually um, meet people, go online, and do a lot of things, even if you're just, at home, you know, uh, and still be learning and be productive. So it's uh, it's interesting that I'm seeing that. And I, I'm actually excited to see Sam uh, when uh, CSS, CSS Manila is also has another event. Uh, we can always partner with, you know, P PWDO and <laughs> we can get speakers like Gab and Vince. All right. So uh, thank you for answering our questions. Thank you for uh, this, joining this. Now let's go to the fun part and let's play a game together. <laughs> MVQF. This guy! Look up here! Yeah. Yeah. Nice! I'm poop hey. emoji. <laughs> enter, enter. We enter. Enter! Yeah. Okay. So we'll play with you. Hello there, game people. Welcome to this invitation-only secret art auction. The world's richest, most powerful art buyers wanted desperately to attend. But these must be end times because somehow the five of you were invited. This guy! Look at uh, I need it! Yeehaw. Please try not to break anything with your dirty, dirty hands. <laughs> Regardless, before we get started, we'll need some art to auction off. Oh, since you're regulars here, I'll spare you the introduction. Draw away. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. What? You go to your thing and draw something. Naka mouse lang ako. Oh no. Magu <laughs> connect you go. You can play this on your phone, sir. Hello, Pangit. Eh, hey, walang erase. Walang erase, walang Wala. erase. <laughs> oh, oh no. no, I should have done it differently. Okay, no. we're, we're messing it up. Ah, safe for work. I guess I go. For what it's worth, we're approximately <laughs> halfway through the allotted drawing time. So, if you haven't finished your second drawing yet, now would be the time. What second drawing? There's a second. There's a second drawing? Okay. Yeah, there's a second drawing. Oh, I can't. I'm, my drawings aren't working. My brain isn't working, so. so. I can't draw anything. No, take a second. I did not draw anything. You have mere seconds left. Submit your drawings now or they will be lost. Okay, then. I don't know. And yeah. Your time no. has no. come. <laughs> and I see at least one piece of art didn't get submitted in time. Luckily, we have some art in the back that we can throw in. <laughs> the auction must go on. Speaking of which... <laughs> What are these? <laughs> What's happening? Wait, wait. The opening will begin at $400. Five <laughs> for 400. Do I have 400? I'm, I'm looking for $400. Can I get it? Now I'm looking I'll for $500. I'll just cheer you on. Because I can't say. About $600. Who will give me <laughs> Next is $700. Do I see seven? Mm. <laughs> I would like to get seven hundred dollars. <laughs> going once. Going twice. 
Not so. The congratulations is to Red for winning that auction. Let's reveal the artist behind this inspiring piece of art. All right, Gray. Inspiring. Uh, <laughs> <goes to> the, <laughs> and the other half goes to you. It's more or less pocket change, but more importantly, let's see how much Red can sell this piece of art for. Wow. <laughs> Look Money. Who the oh. 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 <laughs> that was good. <laughs> it to your tally at the end of the game. On we go. How about we start the bidding? Oh my God. $400. What is this? $400. <laughs> I'm looking for $400. Do I see $400? You can give me $700. <laughs> Next up is $800. Who here can give me $900? Who here can show me $900? $900 is what I'm looking for. Now I'm looking for one. Mm. <laughs> a small place to <laughs> <laughs> Who can show me twelve hundred dollars? Thirteen hundred. I'm looking for thirteen hundred dollars. Who can show me twelve hundred dollars? Looking for one thousand four hundred dollars. Who can give me fourteen hundred dollars? Going once, going twice. So, okay. congratulations on... <laughs> well done, Oh, oh wow, nice. Yay. Next up... So, so, yung ginagawa ng iba dito, parang may mga nang... ...nang to-troll. Uh, na pinataasan nila yung bid. <laughs> Pero mura lang talaga. Ay, mataas ba yan? May lag. Now I would like to see $1,500. <laughs> We are now looking for $1,600. <laughs> Show me $1,700. <laughs> I get $1,700. Wow. Wow. $1,700. Who here can give me $1,700? What are we looking for? Stop. 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 Yes! <laughs> You're <laughs> bad. I don't have any prices. I don't have any prices. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> naman. Ang galing naman niya. Ang ganda naman ito. Look up here. I am looking for this spot. Next is Kiha. Nine hundred. Who can show me one? Who can show me eleven hundred dollars? This guy. Who can show? Mahal eh. Mahal mahal talaga. Eighteen hundred dollars. Mahal talaga. Eighteen hundred. Do I see fifteen hundred? Do I see fifteen hundred? Oh my money. Oh my money. Oh my money. Oh my money. All or nothing. Kaya wala na. Pinapamahal lang talaga ni Sam. Sam, we're already pushing up the price, Sam. Ano to ah? Sailor Moon Redraw. Ay, di akin yan ah. Pero pwedeng ginagawa ko siya para wala lang kayong pera. Oh, man. Sailor Moon Redraw. The bidding will begin. Now I'm looking for five hundred dollars. Oh my God! Do I see five hundred dollars? Anyone here? I'm not even sure. 
I don't trust Sam. Bilis kumasi. Assuming they still have enough money. Oh my god. Wisely, what? I don't know how much I have. I'm not going to tell you how to or not to screw. <laughs> Yung... Oh, Yung nasa taas yata. Dodgy na... loan company. <laughs> Running low on money? Predatory loans can help. Just press the <laughs> Wow. I have $1,000 that you can use right away. Oh sure, at the end of the game you will owe back $1,500, but don't think about that now. And remember, if you want to borrow money between auctions, just hit the Call Predatory Loans button on your device. We're really hoping you don't know it The evening will begin at Oh my god. Wow. Now we're looking for six hundred dollars. Do I see ha? Do I see it? Let's talk about it. Who can show me one thousand? I am looking for dabs. Can I get twelve hundred dollars? I would like one thousand two hundred dollars. <laughs> we are now at twelve hundred dollars. Going once. Oh. Going twice. <laughs> Oh, no. Now, I would like to see $1,400. I am looking for $1,000. Who can give me $1,400? Going once. Next up is $1,500. I'm not looking for much. All I'm really looking for is someone. The next bid will be $1,600. Can I see $1,600? Who here can show me sixteen hundred dollars? Oh my God! Please, going once, going twice. So, congratulations, Red. Ooh, is ouch! Logi, logi. Lost, lost. Oof. How about we start the bidding at four hundred? Oh my God. I'm looking for four hundred. Next is seven hundred dollars. Do I see stabs? 
I am looking for one thousand dollars. If you are afraid to make such a bid, kami lang ni God, kami sa mga gawas. And I'll leave that for your therapist to sort. I love that. I don't have money anymore. One thousand dollars. Going once. Going twice. Bank call. Congratulations, Gray. Gray bought a piece of artwork drawn by Gray. Couldn't bear. Saya. Okay. Trying to push it up. Get your own money back when you buy your own art. Ganun lang. So this money is all staying with me. Lost. We lost, pa. Someone called the bank. Love your work. <laughs> the evening will begin at four hundred dollars. Do I see four hundred dollars? I need it. I am looking for is five hundred dollars. I need it. Next is seven. Flag. You go build eight hundred. I need it. Nine. Ha! You Now. Ha! Twelve hundred dollars is what we're looking for. You go build. But. Who's got four hundred dollars? Ha! 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 We are now Pet looking at sixteen hundred dollars. Do I see one thousand six hundred dollars? Who here can give me sixteen hundred dollars? All right, Red. Look down at your device and think of what. Oh, oh. <laughs> Someone who can't. Malam pisa, malam pampers pisa. Screw wasted. Pisa malam pere. Oh, in there. Sixteen hundred dollars. What do I want? Sixteen hundred dollars. When do I want it? Whenever one of you steps up and offers sixteen hundred dollars for this piece of artwork. Going once. Going twice. So, sana may pera. Sana may pera. Congratulations, purple. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. Ngayon pera. Ano to? Wow. Now, kiha. I forgot ano naging yare kapag screw. I was just pressing the first bid. Thirteen hundred. I'm looking for thirteen. Fourteen hundred dollars. I am looking. Si Lindsay yung artist nito eh. Driving up the price. Going twice. Screw. Lord, please. Congratulations. Lord, please, come on. Sophia. Oh. Oh. No. No. Oh, come on. The bank is annoying, right? It's a horrible deal, but you might not have a choice. Blue, one. Nice. You've been awfully quiet these last few auctions. The evening will begin at. I need it. You go build. The next. I need it. The next. Hey ha. Next. You go build. Nine hundred. I need it. That's the bad boy. You go build. Now I would. This guy. You can show me twelve. I need it. Can I get thirteen hundred dollars? I'm looking for thirteen hundred dollars. Hey ha. Show me fourteen hundred. I need it. Can I get fifteen hundred? I would like fifteen hundred. We are looking for one thousand five hundred dollars. Going once. All right, purple. You have been screwed, blue. I see one thousand five hundred dollars. What? The next bid is sixteen. Ask yourself this: Do I want this? I will spend sixteen hundred dollars. A better question is: Do I want this? I will just screw up. So much that I will spend sixteen hundred dollars. One square turn lang yata. Going once. Malay mo malaki kita mo jan. Congratulations, Blue. 
It's only okay, one, two. Moving on. That's why I didn't want to bid. How about we start the bid? Nice. Four. I need it. The guy I'm looking for is 500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Mali. No. Dapat naman yan pag-a-bid. You got screwed. I need it. I see 500. Next Dapat pag malaki na. Wala lang ang pera. I would like to see 8. $900. Now I'm looking for $1,000. A small price to pay for a piece of culture such as this. Ten one hundred. <laughs> Give me it. Can I get $1,300? Can I get $1,300? Uh, Sam, going man na to, no? <laughs> I'm looking for $1,300. Oh, hindi ah. <laughs> I am looking no, for $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Give me $1,400. Give me $1,400. Give me $1,400. Now we're at $1,500. Do I see $1,600? Go. I love to see $1,600. I am looking for $1,600. All right. Ano nang nangyayari kapag ginawa ko to? Money to meet that. Sorry, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Kaya mga pag mga 1,000, saka mag-imitin. O kakaloon lang. Kakaloon lang ni Sofia eh, kaya... Lala! Magkano to, magkano to? 1, 2. Thank you. Yeah! Ooh! Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Let's divide the winners from the losers. Manalo na si Ellie. Hi, school. Nice. Last day. Oh. Oh my God. Alam ko mahal yan eh, yung ano. Middle school. Nah, kau ini. Thank you, thank you. Yo. Pass drawing. Pass drawing three. Ada nak kau yang balik ni. Nice. Ah, nanalo sila ito! Yay! Galing! Wow! Pwede sila ako sa art options. Cha-ching! 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 Alright, sige! That was a lot of fun. Cha-ching! Sige, top share ko lang. Okay, yeah. It's called The Bidiots. It's from Jackbox TV. It's a nice game. We played it yesterday then. Um... So I guess that's it. We're over on time. Twelve ten now. It's time for lunch. Thank you, everyone, and having fun with me. Enjoy our games. After then, sharing your thoughts as designers and and experiencing life in a COVID situation. So last words. May I invite you to last words? Invite people who are going into the work from home. See millions of people being forced to stay home to help stay home? the spread of COVID-19. <laughs> Sakto yung ating background music. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, can you maybe let's start off with uh, uh, Sam. Any last words for uh, our uh, people who want to or, or are just going into work from home or working remotely? Mm, so I guess one of the basic okay. na pwede ko masabi is yung um, still try to have that work-life balance. I mean, mahirap siya because, you know, it's all mixed up na. And, yeah, uh, uh, it really helps that you have, like, a really separate space where you can do work and then uh, another separate space where you can relax. Or, kung hindi mo separate, at least, like, Uh, mentally or even kunare uh, try to shut down you know slack or any work chat or you know anything work related close it then you know just fire up i don't know your browser like do, 
go social media, um, uh, gaming or whatever. Um, and that's okay. Don't don't be guilty about it. And then, yeah, I guess it's for your own good. Then uh, even naman pre-COVID, that's also something that remote workers need to know that they really need to separate their you know work life because uh, that line has been blurred ever since we started working from home na. So yeah. I guess sin lang. Right. Sige. How about to you, Gab? Anything to share? Um. I think mostly the same. Um, take care of yourself. Unay uh, mean, put yourself first. Um, you know, um, be listen to what your brain is saying to you. You know, if 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 your body has any needs that it doesn't, I know, uh, it 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 isn't. You're not fulfilling. You know, uh, take the time to fulfill those needs. Mm -hmm. uh and you know um work 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 uh work can work will slow down because you know it's slowing down for everyone uh so yeah you can slow down with work and yeah take care of yourself i think that's it okay how about uh Lindsay? last words our... Yeah, so I think uh, Sam and Gab said it really well, which is uh, take care of yourself and don't feel guilty. I, I think that really resonated with me. Um, and I think uh, now is the time to reach out if you need support. Um, just take care of yourself, take care of your family. Um, work will always be there, I think. I know it's, it's difficult for some people, but uh, if you're privileged enough, you know, um, put yourself first uh, and your family. And we'll, we'll all get through this eventually. Thank you. And then Ia, last words. Um, yeah, I've always been trying to do that. Na looking for the kind of company that prioritizes that, or at least to a certain extent. So if you're trying to work with people, um, try to see that their culture will have your back, even if, if these circumstances are like that. So try to have those blocks of time then uh, hindi tuloy tuloy and then try to switch yeah. your environment like if you have a laptop move to another location even if it's like to the bed or to the couch yeah. or to a, but another just change your view like you keep staring at the screen try staring at the window staring at your cats stare at something else um then yeah, what they have said also and this is not normal, so it's okay to to feel not mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So everyone, thank you. Thank you for joining us, uh, conversations with designers, and thank you to our special guests. And uh, until next time, we hope you enjoy our session and games with. Uh, and the winner is uh, Lindsay. Congrats, Lindsay. <laughs> galeng, galeng, galeng. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.